All right, everybody, we're moving on to step two of uh, getting your horse ready for some horseback archery. Um, the, uh, the horses today are a little bit skittery. The neighbor's alarm was going off, so um, see how this goes. She seems pretty calm at the moment. I've led her around a little bit, got her to come with me. Uh, you can see in the background, I've got my targets up. We've gone over and moved them around and jostled them and made a little bit of noise. I've asked her to stick with me throughout the whole process. So again, going back to the first video, we really want preparation to be good, to be really, really good, to where they're not worried, not looking to leave, not looking to pay attention to too many other things, even though the other, especially, especially baby right now, she's, she's just, sort of pacing around I'd show you but I can't be bothered um <laughs> but she's sort of pacing around wondering what Lena's up to and uh so um first things first make sure that this is good when it is good we're going to move to the next thing which is we want I've got her really good with shooting can you move over <laughs> I've got her really good uh with shooting It's, it's, uh, I have an idea. You, back up. There. Okay, I've got her pretty good with shooting beside her um, and close to her uh, from a standstill. But the next thing to do is to make sure that they're cool with you doing that while moving. Because uh, as I've said a zillion times, I'm sure of it, that a lot of horses will stand for a lot of things, but they won't once they get moving around. It'll make them concentrate on more than one thing at a time. And uh, and you'll start to see some gaps. So we're gonna just quickly start with what we did in the last video, which is the shoot with standing still. And I will move forward to where we move around. So I'm gonna grab my equipment really fast. Give you guys a real quick uh, show of what that is. And I'm gonna bring her with me, because this is all part of it. Okay, different bow today. I've chosen to use a different different bow compared to the last one. Um, I'm not riding, I'm not, I don't believe anything bad is going to happen. Um, so I'm gonna use my, my nicer bow. I don't think I'm gonna have to drop it. Um, this bow has a little bit more weight to it, meaning that to pull it is harder. It has more strength. Uh, it shoots straighter. It's it's the better bow. Obviously, you see, the better better bow you buy, the better aim you're going to have. Um, I've got a little bit of distance this time as well, so I want to be able to shoot a little bit straighter than the other ones um, or the other bow because uh, I don't really want to miss from a distance. So we're going to give this a go from a standstill and see how she does. And again, the same same thing as before. Um, I want her to just stick with me but I don't want to let her go. I don't want to just ground tire or something like that. I want her to stay with me and pay attention. Now I've done a lot of shooting so far with her, so I expect her to be pretty good. So you'll see, hopefully she's fine. <laughs> a little worried, let's shoot a couple more. Now, the, uh, the other thing I have going on right now is I've got uh, groups of three arrows on each barrel that I've got here. So I can walk around and I can grab any three that I want. I do recommend you kind of get used to this shooting style where you're holding a couple in your hand, but I'll explain that another time. You ready? Yeah, what happened to you? Come here. So we're just gonna have to stick with this a little bit. So that uh, the walking around part is set up. Okay, settle down. All right, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna move forward to moving. And again, 
same thing with the uh, the last time we did this. We want to place the horse on the other side of us. So she's going to be coming on my right hand side. I'm going to come up and shoot to the left. So I'll bring her down with me. We'll just get walking. And so we're really just doing a lot of walking around. Now, if you um, if you think this is a lot to handle because you can't shoot and walk just yet. Practice shooting and walking first. Again, we're trying to get the setup just right. We want things to be good for us. We want things to be good for the horse. But if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel good sort of getting things figured out, getting the, the arrow knocked and shooting while moving around, practice that first. So I'm just gonna keep changing directions and keep moving around. Keep uh, shuffling, and she's going to come with me. I'm going to bring her in a little closer than before. So we'll see how this goes. Come on. Just keep walking. Watch where you're going too. Now, through this whole exercise, she's pretty much followed me and I can hear her steps, whether or not she's stuttering or faltering or kind of going backwards. She did pretty good, I think. And so I would just continue to do that. Um, and I try to get her closer and closer each time. And again, if she felt like she needed to get somewhere, she can, I'm not hanging on to this. Don't wrap it around your arm, one of those things. And just keep practicing slowly and you'll get there. So that's step number two and getting your horse ready to, uh, you know, do some horseback archery because the next thing we need to do uh, is get on top of her back. I am going to spend a little bit more time today uh, shooting from different parts of her body and uh, I'll shoot over her back. And in the next video, I'll show how all that is coming along well. We'll do some more moving around. And if you can, if you can do it, if you can get it done, um, Try jogging a little, try moving a little bit quicker, walk faster, walk slower, change your speeds. So good job, Lena, you did really well. Your horseback archery lessons are coming along great. So I'm gonna let her go for now. She can go have a roll and I will see you guys in the next one. Come here, good girl. Okay, see you later. She likely wants to have a bit of a roll. Pretty warm day today. We're just hanging out with Luke back there. Oop. See, a little bit spooky today. Something's going on. Of course, she doesn't like the blowing in the wind of the, the obstacle. We have a baby going crazy. I know this isn't really part of the archery part, but. Look at her. She's got something to say. A oh, baby stealing the show again. The archery is so uh, sort of nonchalant, very anticlimactic. Everything went well.
They're her and Rooney. I want to play too. Okay, that's it, everybody. Oh, there she goes a little more. I'll let her out soon. Nina's just chilling out back there.